Bimulay 51, turn right, heading 180. 014 Papa, turn right 245, report localised established. There's been some massive developments surrounding British Airways within the aviation industry in the past day or so, with the airline announcing officially its plans to launch short-haul flights from London Gatwick by the end of March of 2022, confirming numerous reports indicating that the airline was looking at launching was looking at launching a subsidiary carrier out of the airport utilizing the A320 Neo aircraft. The initial plan will see the new airline fly with three aircraft and by May it expects to have a total of 18 aircraft at its disposal and will be known as BA Euroflyer. This will see the end to a break of almost two years for the airline at the airport. 35 short-haul destinations initially went on sale and they've received very much a mixed response with some very much for the decision to see a new airline that operates under the British Airways branding launch. However, some have marked the decision as not very necessary. Overall, the branding is very similar to that of your BA City Flyer, which as we know is based out of London City Airport and utilises incredibly small aircraft. The confirmation and therefore launch of the new airline hasn't been a complete breeze though, with multiple parties rejecting proposals by British Airways. However, what's important today is they sit with that approval and can now move forward with the launch. What can we expect though from BA Euroflyer? Well, a BA is planning on having this airline as a very much no-frill type of service that will operate on a point-to-point -point model that will see fares very competitive with the likes of EasyJet. To what extent they can actually compete exactly with EasyJet remains to be seen. Naturally, that'll be able to be better assessed as time does move forward and we can see the market trends and just how much they develop and evolve with time. British Airways, though, is planning for BA Euroflyer to be very much unlike its mainline brand, with just the bare minimum being offered, and this is something I touched on earlier. This will allow for a cheaper ticket, with the ability to purchase add-ons. Add-ons that will ultimately usually see the ticket be more expensive than you may think if you wish to purchase them. Comments from the BA Chief Executive were revealed with Sean Doyle saying that creating a new British Airways short-haul organisation means Gatwick customers will benefit from access to a premium service from the UK's flag carrier at competitive prices. What do you make of this new airline BA Euroflyer? Please do let me know down in the comment section below. It's incredibly interesting to say the least. Although it's safe to say it's been a long time in the making, getting that confirmation from British Airways that they were able to get the approval certainly allows us to be one step closer to the official launch. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you next time.